We're really pleased to be able to partner with WBCSD to develop these governance tools. For those of you that may be new to the embedding project, we are a public benefit research project that helps companies embed sustainability into their operations and decision making. For more than a decade, we've been partnering with leading universities and leading companies around the world. Our work is supported by a research grant from the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council of Canada and by contributions from partner companies and strategic partners like WBCSD. We do high quality engaged research and we give it away for free. Through rigorous research and by supporting sustainability teams, executive teams and boards in our partner companies, we're better able to understand what resources might be most useful to them and to others. Together, we collaborate to develop, pilot, refine, and then publicly release assessments, guidebooks, and tools like the ones I'll be sharing with you today. If there's one thing the current crisis has taught us, it's that our collective approach to economic recovery cannot be conceived in isolation from the regeneration needed in the social and environmental systems upon which every business depends. As global lockdowns start to ease and local economies begin to gear back into action, a new global narrative is emerging about building back better. Going forward, businesses will need to be clear about the role they will play in protecting workers, contributing to the climate transition, and helping to reduce inequalities. But this isn't new. It builds on a trend that was already underway. Over the last few years, we've seen a growing number of companies begin to articulate a social purpose. And to help their employees, customers, investors, and other stakeholders understand their commitment to their purpose, Companies have been articulating public positions on key environmental, social, and governance issues. They've also been setting ambitious new goals that align with doing their part to contribute to the resilience of the communities and the ecosystems where they operate. As companies turn their attention to transition strategies, the first resource we would like to share is our new Embedded Strategies Guide. This guide has been two years in the making and it was designed to help companies shift to an embedded view of strategy. Harnessing the generative potential of business to contribute to resilient communities and societies. It builds on insights from over 300 interviews with senior executives, CEOs, board chairs, and directors, and years of experience supporting companies as they proactively scan for social and environmental trends, identify emerging issues and risks, understand their own corporate impacts and their potential for positive influence, prioritize where it makes sense to direct their efforts, and set their business strategy and goals in alignment with delivering systems value. And it all begins with a shift in mindset about value creation. While many companies are now recognizing the need to shift from a shareholder to a stakeholder view, the crisis we've been facing has demonstrated the limitations of even these approaches. Whether it's triple bottom line thinking or shared value, in practice, the area where environmental, social, and economic benefits overlap is often too narrow, resulting in trade-offs or well-intentioned initiatives that all too often fail to really change the underlying strategy of the business. Instead, we urge companies to turn their attention to systems value by recognizing that your business relies on a resilient social systems and resilient environmental systems to operate. A systems view puts the focus on long-term value creation. When speaking with boards and CEOs, a question that comes up again and again is how much is enough? Companies can find themselves overwhelmed by demands that appear unrelated to their business, beyond their current capabilities, or beyond the resources that they have available. Meanwhile, communities and other stakeholders want companies to explain whether their corporate strategies are aligned with supporting environmental and social resilience. As a result, companies are being asked to put their strategy, their goals, and their performance in context. An embedded strategy means moving beyond asking what could we do, and instead understanding what do we need to do to play our part in maintaining and enhancing the resilience of the environmental, social, and economic systems in which we operate. Whether that means helping to accelerate the transition to a low carbon economy, by doing your part to restrict the increase in global average temperature to less than 1.5 degrees above pre-industrial levels, or supporting local economic resilience in the communities where you operate. When speaking with directors and executives at companies that are starting to take a more embedded approach, they raise three key benefits. The first
First is that a more systems-based approach helps them to anticipate and manage disruptive risk and the potential opportunities that may arise from it. The second is that it helps them to anticipate shifting societal expectations and think about what the business needs to do to articulate a credible response. The third, and maybe the more fundamental, is that an embedded approach helps them to set credible limits to their involvement. Through adopting a more systemic approach to understanding your company's relevant impacts and its biggest levers for positive change, you can prioritize where it makes the most sense to allocate scarce resources, helping you to develop a clear narrative about where you will direct your efforts and why. As your company begins to recognize the crucial link between its own business resilience and the resilience of the social and environmental systems in which it operates, its strategy development process will need to shift. Our embedded strategy guide walks you through these key steps. Scanning for emerging issues, understanding system needs, prioritizing based on where your organization can have the greatest systems impact, whether that's in your direct operations, in your value chain, or through exerting your influence, acknowledging the need to do your part, and setting your strategy and goals in alignment with delivering systems value. In speaking with directors and board chairs, we heard that by developing a clear public position statement, boards and executive teams can deepen their understanding of these issues, clarify how these issues link to their company's overall strategy, clarify their position for other key stakeholders, and provide the direction and confidence for management and employees to act. But we also heard that directors needed better guidance on how to develop good position statements. So drawing on in-depth analyses of over 3,000 board position statements, along with interviews with CEOs, directors, and board chairs, our position statement guide helps companies articulate a concise and transparent board-level position on relevant environmental, social, and governance issues. The position statement guide provides a checklist for crafting a credible board position statement and includes examples from leading statements from a range of industries and global settings. In short, a concise position statement will do three things. Explain the issue, link it to your company's strategy, and clarify your commitment to take action. As you set out to develop or revisit your own statements, we've developed an online position database that we hope will be helpful. Each position included in the database has been assessed using publicly available data according to the framework outlined in our guide. The database highlights strong, clear positions on environmental, social, and governance issues articulated by companies in a range of industries. To start searching, select an issue such as climate, governance and ethics, or materials and waste. You can filter by company, sector, past or present positions, or search using a keyword. Darker colors point you to stronger statements. To see each statement and to understand how it meets our criteria, click on the page icon. You will also see the information we use to make our assessment highlighted in blue. We continue to add new positions regularly. Similarly, the goals database assesses leading sustainability goals and commitments set by companies in a range of industries, helping you to set your own goals and benchmark your goals against others. Like the position statement database, we don't feature all goals. Instead, we feature those that are beginning to take their social and environmental context into account in their goal setting. Contextual goals focus on doing your part to ensure the health and well being of ecological and social systems where you operate, instead of what seems achievable or is expected within your industry. To start searching, select an issue such as worker well being, governance and ethics, or materials and waste. You can filter or search by company sector, sub-issue, level of influence, our assessment criteria, whether the goal is current or past, SDG target or keyword. Again, by clicking on the page icon, you can see the information we use to make our assessment highlighted in blue. And like the position database, we continue to add new goals regularly.